I try and live my life to a certain level and a standard. I think I think on you know, my own beliefs. I'm not from a particularly religious background at all, and yet my life sort of intertwined into faith and religion when I moved to Glasgow and and, um, and married a, a girl from an Irish Catholic family and uh, one of nine children and, and was taken in by the closeness of that family and the, the love and, and uh, respect for each other that was there. Um, I married that <coughs> I married that young girl and, and, and we only spent a year of our lives together because she died of breast cancer. Um, and yet I still am very, very close to all the family. Um, yeah, and I, I didn't realise how how strong my faith and how much I needed my faith until I, you know, came through some rough rides through teenage experiences and early twenty experiences of when things aren't quite going your way or you have a big hurdle in front of you and you know you can turn your faith to give you that support. I mean, you know, I'm a practicing Catholic. I I think that we can get very much wrapped up in our own worlds and we can sort of think that what we're doing for that particular um, period of our lives is the be all and end all. Uh, but ultimately it isn't, it's just a very, 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 very small um, small cog um, in the big in the chain of the big picture. And that's what, what's great. Um, and you just treat it sort of totally equal. So when I go to the church and, and, you know, and I'm, I'm stood there, uh, with my wife and you realise that just it doesn't really matter what you've been doing in, in your life at that particular time you just all treat as an equal um, and if it's going good great if it's going bad okay you know you just still treat as an equal um, so it certainly, certainly brings people back down to earth I think that's a very the, the most in, in, important part after my wife's death <coughs> I think um, faith became a very very important part of my life for a not a short spell because it's always there now, it's sort of embedded I think, it, um, I often still talk to her and look for, look for strength when I need it um, and, and it intertwines into my professional life, into, my, into the way I live my life, the way I try and treat everybody with respect so in this job at times you make some very very harsh decisions with, with young footballers who probably aren't going to have a career with you, I've done that just this morning with a young player that I've told can leave the football club um, and seen the disappointment in his eyes and the fear probably of, of where his, you know, where, where his next club's going to be and yet I try to do it in a manner that gives them encouragement and, and hope and faith. And Excellence. Friendship. Respect. I'm Chris Tomlinson, join my mission at Flame. <laughs>